MPs from the opposition Law and Justice Party, Marish Kaminsky and Maciej Wonsik, have been held in pretrial detention in Warsaw since yesterday. They both reject the accusations against them and the court verdicts, emphasising that they have been fighting corruption at the highest level since 2005. That is why they treat prison as revenge by their political opponents. The largest opposition party, Law and Justice, considers them to be the first political prisoners in over 30 years. During the arrest of Kaminsky and Vonsik, the government ignored the pardon granted to them by the President and the ruling of the Extraordinary Control Chamber of the Supreme Court, which annulled the expiration of the mandates of both deputies. Today, another ruling in this case was issued by another chamber of the Supreme Court, Chamber of Labour. This time, in line with the ruling party's wishes, it found both men guilty. Adrian Boretsky has more. Yesterday, at 3pm, Donald Tusk said... Nobody wants to expose the police to a confrontation with state institutions and the president, so of course we will not take any coercive actions because my task is to protect the state against such dangerous events. Four hours later, the prime minister's assurance could be thrown into the rubbish. In the absence of President Andrzej Duda, who was having a meeting with Belarusian opposition in the Belvedere Palace, less than five kilometers away, the police used SOP officers to enter the presidential palace. No one showed me any document on the basis of which the police could enter the office. Everyone knew I was there, and they even reminded the security teams that I was there. Tasking SOP officers in a different way from protecting the president to let the police into the presidential palace, all this brings the worst associations. I think it ruins any trust the president has in the officers who are supposed to protect him. The services subordinated to the Minister of Internal Affairs and Administration, Marcin Kavinsky, detained Wonsik and Kaminski in the palace and forcibly took the politicians, pardoned by the president, to a police station and to arrest them. When the president was informed about what was happening in the palace, he wanted to return immediately, but suddenly a public bus blocked the exit from the palace at the Belvedere Palace. The Chancellor of the President says directly this was not the case. Interestingly, a journalist of the pro-government television TVN, Bartosz Cinch, was travelling on the bus that allegedly broke down suddenly. The authorities of Warsaw, where the deputy head of Civic Platform is in power, deny that it was a deliberate action. Public transport in at Warszawa, always at your service. P.S. Bus conspiracy, really? This is undoubtedly an international scandal that seriously undermines Poland's position on the international arena. This leads to the message being spread around the world that Poland is a country where the police enter the presidential palace in the absence of the president and, against the will of the president, lead deputies out in handcuffs. We have political prisoners in Poland. The world will be informed that the authorities in Poland have detained the vice president of the main opposition party. Mariusz Kamiński's colleagues read his statement in which he announced the start of the hunger protest. I declare that I treat my conviction for fighting corruption and taking illegal actions to deprive me of my parliamentary mandate as an act of political revenge. Therefore, as a political prisoner, from the first day of my imprisonment, I am starting a hunger protest. The reaction of the Deputy Minister of Justice in Donald Tusk's government is outrageous. Of course, everyone has the right not to eat or drink. This is an individual decision. This is the right to personal freedom. Everyone can decide about it for themselves. We are dealing with a change of government to one that is guided by interests external to Poland and an authority that goes so far as to brazenly violate the constitution and violate law. Because of the current government does not recognize the president's pardon, which is constitutional, as indicated by the Constitutional Tribunal. President. The president had no right to grant amnesty to persons who had not been legally convicted. This is clear. This results from the Constitution. However, there is no such provision in the Constitution. Experts point out pressure on the president to pardon MPs again is setting a trap for the head of state because the pardon is still in force. It has legal force and is not a temporary action that is binding only for a specific period of time. If the president wanted to renew the pardon today, he would deny his decision from 2015. Hence the assurances of President Andrzej Duda. I will not rest until Minister Mariusz Kaminski and his colleagues return to free people as they should be, until they are released from prison. Donald Tusk is inflaming the conflict, threatening the president with prison. Whoever obstructs or frustrates criminal proceedings by helping the perpetrator of a crime shall be punished with a term of imprisonment from three months to five years. 
I hope that the day will come when he will be held accountable for this type of policy, these types of actions and these types of statements. The President of Law and Justice appeals to people to come to the same tomorrow at 4pm and take part in the protest of free Poles who oppose Tusk's regime. Adrian Borecki, Televizia Republica.